We are going to look at some special matrices in this video and see how they give us special forms of linear integer programming problem. First, we look at what is called a unimodular matrix. If M is a square integer matrix, then it's called unimodular if its determinant is 1 or minus 1. So M has to be invertible. Now, one special property is that if you try to solve the system, m x equal to b, then you only have integer solutions whenever b is an integer vector. There's another notion called totally unimodular matrix. So A, an m by n integer matrix, is said to be totally unimodular if every square matrix is unimodular or singular. So to check if a matrix is totally unimodular, you need to take every possible squares of matrix. If it's non-singular, that means if it's invertible, then it has to be unimodular. In other words, the determinant is 1 or minus 1. Uh, one consequence of this is that A must be 0, 1, minus 1 matrix. Because every 1 by 1 matrix has to be either singular, which means 0, or has determinant 1 or minus 1. In this case, the 1 by 1 matrix has to be either just consisting of 1 or minus 1. So this is the first property. Now, there is a very special class of totally unimodular matrix. Okay, so let's look at an example. If a is a 0, minus 1, 1 matrix has at most 1, 1, and 1, minus 1 in each column, then A is totally unimodular. So how do you prove this? Well, first of all, it is sufficient to prove this for k by k matrices. And we will do this by induction on k. Now, before I prove this, I want to say what it means by a square submatrix. So, say you have a matrix that looks like this. All right. So, it has three rows and four columns. Now, to get a 2 by 2 submatrix, what you do is you delete one row and delete two columns. So I can choose to delete this row and these two columns. Then the 2 by 2 submatrix that we get is going to be 1 minus 1 minus 1 and 0. And you can check that the determinant of this thing is minus 1. Now we will show by induction that every square matrix having this property is totally unimodular. So we are proving by induction. So let's start with the basis case, k equal to 1. If k is 1, then a is a 1 by 1 matrix. Since the possibilities for the entry is 0, minus 1, or 1, then the determinant is 0, 1, or minus 1. So a is totally unimodular. So that's done. So the induction hypothesis is suppose the statement holds for k equal to some capital N greater than 0. We want to show that it holds for k equal n plus 1. So take such a matrix A with k equal n plus 1. So a is an n plus 1 by n plus 1 matrix, entries 0, minus 1, or 1, and each column has at most 1, 1, and at most 1, minus 1. Clearly, any square submatrix whose dimension is less than or equal to n by n is going to have determinant 0, minus 1, or 1 by induction hypothesis, because every square submatrix will satisfy this property. So the only thing that we need to check is the matrix A itself.
we want to show that the matrix A has determined either 0, 1, or minus 1. Now, the first case is, if A has a column of 0, then it's determined as 0. So that's the easy case. Now, if every column has exactly 1, 1, and 1, minus 1, then it's determined as also 0, because if you add up all the rows, you get the 0 row. The remaining case to consider is, there is a column with exactly one non-zero entry. Suppose that A has a column with exactly one non-zero entry. What we do is, we expand the determinant of A along this column. Okay, so my matrix A looks like this, and some column has zeros everywhere, and then there's a non-zero, and then everything else zero. And I expand along this column. And if you do that, there's only one term left, and the term is going to be this x, right? x, which we know is either 1 or minus 1, because that's the only possibility for a non-zero entry in A, times the determinant of... Uh, let's say uh, uh, Aij, where the matrix Aij is the matrix A with i row and j column deleted. And we are, say, interested in the absolute value, because all we need to show is that this is 0 or 1. Well, obviously, the determinant of this Aij is 0, 1, or minus 1 by induction hypothesis. That means the absolute value of the determinant of A is 0 or 1. And that's exactly what we wanted to prove. We'll see an example of how this is used in the next video.